Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Guy Hollingworth Burgundy Monogram deck. What's a monogram? Uh, okay kids, a monogram is when you have your initials uh, like sewn into your t-shirt or to your towel. Uh, and you can see right there in the front, it's GH for Guy Hollingworth. It's also an ambigram, so it's also GH when you flip it upside down, which helps uh, when you have a two-way back design, which of course uh, you would want as a magician, so it doesn't look a little tricky. If you don't know who Guy Hollingworth is, how do you not know who Guy Hollingworth is? He's only one of the coolest magicians in the world. Uh, he's based out of London. He did that DVD, The London Collection. He did Drawing Room Deception. Those are two of his biggest ones. Uh, like I said, this deck is released from Dan and Dave. They're both huge uh, Guy Hollingworth fans. And originally, this deck was released in green last year. Uh, and it came out with a Guy Hollingworth uh, DVD set. And the only way you could get the green deck was if you bought the set. Well, now they've released the same deck of cards in burgundy and you can buy them in individual decks. And so that kind of makes it cool for the rest of us that don't have a lot of money. Uh, the tuck case is burgundy and it's done in a matte finish with uh, embossing and gold foil. Like I said, there you've got the ambigram uh, signature there in the front. It says Guy Hollingworth on one side and playing cards on the other. The bottom has some ad copy about Dan and Dave. The top has Guy Hollingworth's uh, initials again. And the back design is a repeated image of the back design of the playing cards. Way down here, it also says made in the USA. And you can see that there's no tuck seal which is really nice, especially on these matte decks um, where tuck seals could really uh, tear the finish on this. And then you'll see the inside of the tuck is also lined in that burgundy matte as well. So that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they do come on their micro thinnest retail stock. Now normally retail stock is thin. Dan and Dave say uh, they've gotten the retail stock to be even thinner on these. They say it's about eight cards thinner than a standard retail deck, so we'll leave that up to you to decide. Uh, they also have a modern cut and air cushion finish, and if you'd like to learn more about stock cut or finish, you can click the link below in the description. The back design, of course, is Guy Hollingworth's initials there in the center, done on a giant field of burgundy, and you can see the pattern goes all the way to the edges, so it's a casino back design, which is really good for things like second deals and casino routines. Uh, sometimes it's called a full bleed when the color gets pushed all the way to the edges. It's also uh, noted that way in the background, that is not just some random image, it's still the GH, the Guy Hollingworth uh, logo repeated way back there in the background. With this deck, you're going to get two gaffs, you're going to get a double backer, which is great for a lot of cool magic tricks. The other thing you're going to get is you're going to get the Guy Hollingworth Quartet gaff card. Why is it called a quartet? Well, it's called a quartet because you have four kings. You have the king of spades, you have the king of clubs, you have the king of diamonds, and you have the king of hearts. And if you want to learn how to use this, you can buy Guy Hollingworth's book called Quartet, where you'll learn a lot of really cool tricks, including um, Guy's Twisting the Aces, which has a really killer ending. Also with this deck, you're going to get two full-size jokers. It's a man wearing uh, suit and tails, which is kind of how Guy Hollingworth performs. And behind his back, he is palming an ace. The Ace of Spades is the Guy Hollingworth initials, and it says Hollingworth down there at the bottom. The Pips and Indice cards are all completely redone. Uh, you'll see the font in the corner is more of a stylistic, more modern look. Very classy. Uh, this deck has a real touch of, of elegance to it. It looks rich, very similar to the, the setting that Guy does a lot of his magic in, probably even the people that he performs for. You'll also notice that the court cards are standard, but if I can get the little uh, gold to shimmer for you, if they're also accented with gold foil. So that is it for the Guy Hollingworth monogram deck. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at DanAndDave.com. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest cards and card magic. And if you want to follow me on social media, you should. I'm at Facebook.com slash Twitter.com slash and Instagram.com slash underscore orthodoxy. Thanks, bye.